Hey guys, it's here, and welcome back to NASCAR 2004 for race 2 at 36. I don't know why I put up three fingers, but 2 at 36. We're going in the career mode today for season 2. I'm looking forward to it. Um, we'll see how this race turns out. The last uh, Rockingham race I did, I got a top 10, but I, I, had, I barely survived getting a top 10. So we'll see what happens. Um, uh, team management, might as well show what's going on in the garage first. Um, chassis, still stuff's being built and overhauled. Engines, um, one's being repaired and body we got one more race for that until it's finally built so it looks like going into vegas we should have most of everything already built so that's good um so uh shop additions i don't think i i think something why am i going to standings team management let's go to shop additions one race for the body forming tool so once i build a new uh, body it'll be better for drafting which is good because we'll need that the super speedways and sh short track no super speedways and a mile and a half tracks there we go <laughs> um it's going race weekend, chassis, uh, we're going to go with number three, engine number, we're going to go with number two here, and body number one. With the car rating of 61, it's about the same as Daytona, actually, it might have been the same number. So, not the best, but we'll see what we can do here. So, uh, let's dive into qualifying and see where we start in the race. Hanging off turn four, that felt like a pretty good lap, but we'll see when I cross the line. It's a 23-4. that pull? Yes! Oh my god, it's a great, that's a great, that's a great for line. <laughs> uh, that's sad we had to beat out Kenny Wallace for the pull, but we got him by two tenths. Makes me happy. I'm almost made me cry a little bit. <laughs> Let's get into the race. Me and Kenny Wallace start in the front row. Let's get this race underway. Three, two, one. Green flags all we are underway here at Rockingham for 39 laps. We're starting on the pole. We're probably going to lose a lot of spots on the start, but that's to be expected. And Kenny Wallace is leading the race now, so that's uh, that's already a sign that you know something's up with the race. <laughs> Bill Elliott drives flying by us, and uh, now we're in P3. Uh, we'll just try to hang on for now, see where we kind of uh, stack up once the field kind of settles down and spreads out. I really got to make these early parts in the race count just to gain as much ground as possible, or just try to hang on. So we're on block, Sterling Marlin here, break turn out to get in the back of Bill Elliott and we don't so that's good please Marlon don't pass me on the outside I know they get a good run off the corner and nope he doesn't get a good run off the corner <laughs> here comes Ricky Rudd I'll block him down low going to three slid up the track a bit I might be able to hang on the third oh we make a little bit of contact I might be able to get to him going into one if I drive it in deep yes I do barely and the car drifts there goes all my tire wear so <laughs> See it, and we block Ricky Rudd off at two. Oh my gosh, now we're going to block Kenseth here. And try to get through turn three again here really nicely. Okay, now we're in a pretty good rhythm. Let's try to hit our marks here and try to maintain third as long as we can. Play on both sides. Got one up. We're going to get by Bill Elliott, I think. We're gonna get a, I know we can get diving in really deep going into one here. And we do just that. Kenny Wallace is the is the leader. This is a very strange race already. Normally he nor he loses a lot of pace early on. Like he qualifies well and then loses a lot of ground. But here, he's leading for uh, multiple laps now, which is um very very strange. I mean we can go for the goddamn lead right now. <laughs> oh God, almost got in the back room. And Kenny Wallace is gonna block us. Thanks, Kenny. We're gonna really break super early. Going in that corner, he's really holding me up now. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be saying that in a sentence, but yeah, Kenny Wallace is literally holding us up right now. I'm gonna block uh, Bill Elliott and Kenseth here. Get into three. Went in a little bit deep, but it seemed to stick pretty well. We need to get a really good run off the corner here and then dive it down low here to pass Kenny Wallace, but he just keeps freaking blocking me and I'm getting a little bit salty over it. I get to him on the outside. I want to dive it down low so Kenseth doesn't get by me. And we hang on to second for now. Oh my god, Kenseth, what a run on the outside. Please, I just need to get by freaking Kenny Wallace, and maybe I can pull away. I don't know. But this is unbelievable. Like, Kenny Wallace, what are you doing up here? Please, Kenny, stop blocking the freaking racetrack. I know this is probably like a miracle for you to do so well. Oh my 
god, I can clear him right now, but I can't. You'll get a good run off the corner. Harvick's gonna get two down low. Holy crap, Harvick. Oh my gosh. Everybody's just, uh, again, held up by Kenny Wallace. Just nobody can get around him. <laughs> this is so dumb. Come on, get by Harvick. No, Har okay, you know what? We're gonna make it three wide here. Oh god. Please, car stick. Hang on the bottom. Keep it on the bottom, yes. Okay, hang on, hang on. Kenny, Kenny, okay, block Kenny, block Horvick. Oh I'm about to have an aneurysm, just trying to hold on. But we get the lead. <laughs> we get the lead, oh my god. Let's just hang on. I think we can hang on to it. Oh, <laughs> come on, why did I hit the wall in the fucking straightaway? Oh my god, we're actually doing good right now. I mean, we're just barely holding off Ricky Rudd, but I mean, we're, we have legitimate pace. I mean, we're actually kind of holding him off. Right rear's getting worn. Keep an eye out. Car inside. Oh, this might be it. Ricky Rudd's got to the side of us now. We held on for as long as we could. Might be able to get a run off of four here, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Oh my god, we're right at his back bumper. Oh man, the car is almost there pace-wise. We're just not there. We're gonna try to get by him on the outside of here, going into one. Can we get down low? No, we can't. Ricky Rudd's gonna get an amazing run off this corner. Oh, he in the wall. We gave it a hell of a fight though in that first half. God damn. Oh man, that was that was like just unbelievable how we kept on that car, but Ricky Rudd was way faster. And now our tires are falling apart. Great. I'm pinning this time by 70 miles an hour. We'll see what we can do here on the stop. Man, that's frustrating. Damn, we had such a good first half. Well, let's see what our crew can do. We got 20 laps left. And the driver hits his mark, the crew will go around, go to the right side first, change right side tires. One hand racing fuel going in. Okay, that was a 15.9. They actually got to their estimated time. Pit crew, I love you. You did a good job. You did a good job this race. Pit cycles are still going through. I'm in 14th now. I'm not quite sure where I'll be when it gets all through. Hopefully with a top 10 would be nice. Uh, P12 right now. We still lost that much ground pitting. I'm gonna really be upset because again we had another decent car and we still couldn't deliver unless yeah there's still there's still people pitting. We'll see uh, where we kind of stack up. I would like a top ten at least. That would be nice. I don't know, but we'll see. We get by those couple of guys. Now we're in sixth. I'll take that. I think we can hang on to a top ten now if we just keep this up. Uh, some of these guys up ahead pitted much earlier like uh, Ricky Rudd and uh, Kevin Harvick. I would hope that lap traffic plays a factor and holds them up. But I just don't think it's gonna be likely, so that's a little bit disappointing. But if we can come home with a top five or even top 10, that's a, a win for us, considering we got 10th at this track last time, and now, in this race, we're fourth. So, <laughs> let's, see how, let's see how long we can hang on to this spot until Jarek catches us or something stupid happens, so. I'm gonna go into sweat mode here and really try to focus. The leaders are now getting caught in the tail end of the lead lap. That should hold them up a little bit. I don't know how much. Our car, though, it's not like a winning car. It's not losing a whole lot of ground. Like in, around the pit stops and stuff, we were like 1.9 seconds back. And then uh, when the cycle ended, we were like 2.5 behind the leader. And we're losing a little bit now, but it's not horribly bad. So. I'm very, very impressed with this car right now, even though it's a 61, I'm just, I'm really shocked. Like, this is way better than the last Rockingham race, which was, which was only a few races ago. Like, so this is really good to, to see. Sorry if I'm not talking a whole lot, I'm just really trying to focus. Junior, as you see on my mirror, he's appeared out of nowhere, catching me just crazily fast. So I think he must be one of the last guys that pitted on that sequence of stops. So he, he has a fucking fast car, so I'm trying to hang on for the spot as best as I can. Just trying to get around lap traffic. Fucking mirrors, give me fucking room! You asshole. God damn it. I think he just pinched me off the track. I mean. Fucking roadblock. Oh my god, somebody's blowing a motor up here. Hopefully they get out of the way. Mark Martin's coming down low. 
Oh my god. Oh no, come on. I mean, it's still a top five, but still, I was trying to avoid David Green because I didn't know where he was going to go. But maybe we can get the spot back if we dive into here in the one, let the car kind of coast, use Jack Sprague as a pit here. Hopefully Mark can't get around him that way. He's going to get a good around the corner, but Jack's going to hold him up. Yep, it worked. <laughs> we just got to get through turn three now. Holding my breath. I'm trying to hold my breath, but it didn't work. Oh my god, Mark. Jack Sprague, go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> We're hanging on the fourth. Go car, go shit mobile. Get out of the way, Hermie Sadler. Oh my god, that was the worst corner entry I could have taken for that corner. This would be the best finish. Um, this would be like my second top five in this crew, but I just gotta hit, hit it. Dale Jr., no. Just gotta make it one more time. My masculinity needs to be ahead of you. Oh my god, getting off the corner. Can we hang on to it? Yes, we can. Come <laughs> to the finish line. We get fucking fourth. Oh my god. <laughs> Yes. And Harvick wins again. It just might have been the same track as he did last year. Not a single caution lap was that was something else. Well, that's good news. That, was, that was better than the last Rockingham race. That was unbelievable. We hope you <laughs> that was awesome. We had legit semi-pace. We led laps. That was fucking... We led six laps. That's the most we ever led in this crew went up to this point. Because Walking Slam, we only led, we only led to four laps somehow. And that was under caution. So that was a miracle. I don't know where Kenny Wallace finished because he was on the pole. He led, Jesus Christ, a lot of the laps. He led eight laps. <laughs> what the? <laughs> this race is weird. And we get 1.7 million, so that's really good to, to see. So let's exit out of here and uh, just see what we can do in the garage. Body construction complete. Great news. Your bodybuilder has completed building your first new car body. Test it out on your new... Test it out on your next race car. Don't stop building now. Keep it up. Thank you. Alright, so... We'll see what this looks like. Uh, we're going to go to the garage here. Again, a lot of the stuff is um, now fresh, semi or whatever. Um, we could overhaul stuff and get really better, but... This is a slow grind. I want to keep money and stuff in the bank. Um, I will uh, repair engine number two, and we'll do that for, oh my god, a race for 90k? Fuck yeah, oh my god, it's been ages since we've been able to repair stuff for one race. That's uh, very good to see, and that body is like 87. We gotta repair that. Um, I could sell it, but, actually, I mean, I could sell it and start building a new body. I could do that, let's see what that looks like. So, nine races, 68. Seven. You know what? We're going to sell. We're going to sell body number one. Just because it's not good. We're going to sell that. And we're going to build one new brand body. One new, brand new body. I can't talk. For 200k. This will be a lot better. They'll come in nine races. So, we're going to have to alternate between those two. Which is not the best. Well, one is pretty good. And the other one's not. I mean, you can tell just by the downforce and drafting. So, we're probably going to have to overhaul that from time to time and all that so we have like i don't know but for vegas i'm gonna use the best one we have like the 66 one we're gonna use that at vegas considering that's like the one of the most difficult tracks on this game in terms of just tire wear and just ai difficulty it seems like we're gonna have to go balls out for that so why am i back out of the garage again chassis we still got six race for that build um we could uh, repair this one because it's not the best but Okay, that's two races. So it seems like the engines... Was it the engines that got done? Like, a race? Yeah, that was okay. So the engine is really good, but this is still for two races. So that's a little shitty. But the tire grip and everything's still pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to repair it for now. I won't. I won't just yet. So that looks like to be about it for just messing around with stuff on here. Um, we could add something new to the shop additions. Um... We already got two of everything on these three here, um, so I'm gonna go with. Uh, what do we need to really? What do we need to really improve the car? I mean, chassis for the most part, it's in the early 60s. I could overhaul it to be in the mid 60s. I'm trying to build something new, so it's in the 66. Um, engine, we're getting stuff in like the mid 60s, so I don't know. Um, maybe the I would say the bodies, but. We got that pretty decent. So I guess we're just going to go from like left to right and then left again. Kind of like cycle through. So we're going to go with chassis here. We're going to go with the shock dyno. And uh, allow building. 
So that improves the tire grip, which is something we do need because it's in like, I don't know, it's, we, it could be better, I assume. Engines. Okay, let's look at the prices first. I know I'm going into this for quite a lot, but I want to figure out the prices. Shock Dyno. Um, we could do that for six races for 1.5, but that's too much for us right now. That, that will take way too long. Engine Dyno, that would be 1.5 or 6, so that's too long. Bodies. Um, uh, you know what? We're going to go. I'm not going to do it just yet. I want to save a little bit more. I want to get at least to two million before I won't, because I'm going to do the template next, because that's like the cheapest one for now to to improve. So I'm going to do that. I'm not going to no, not now, but later. If we do decent at Vegas, we'll get to two million and do all that. So I'm going to do that later. I don't want to get too close on money. So everything right now is okay. Um, that's really it. But I actually got to show the points. Oh, I'm getting too ahead of myself. Ricky Rudd's the points leader with no wins, but still or early on in the season, <laughs> we're seventh in points. Um. Starting off good, 14th at the, 13th at Daytona, and what, it's fourth here, so that was good. Next race, we had Vegas. We'll see how that one turns out. Uh, thank you for watching. Like I always say, I do appreciate the love, feedback, and support. All you guys gave me in the comment section below, and as well as liking the video, because it helps me out a lot in the long run. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you all at Vegas, and as always, have a good day, everyone.